Hey guys, I'm sure you've all heard about Trump's recent statements regarding uh, Mika from The Morning Joe and how it's pretty much caused a huge stir in the left, how they're freaking out, or the uh, far left progressives. They're freaking out about him saying that, they're calling him a sexist, you know, the, the, the regular nine yards of what they usually do to somebody that criticizes a woman or pretty much anybody on the left that they can say that they're being sexist or racist towards, right? They did this with Obama. You know, anytime somebody criticized Obama for something, it was, oh, it's because you're a secretly a racist, right? It's like, you know, oh, he's doing a horrible job in Syria and he's destroyed Libya. And they're like, no, no, you're just a secret racist. That's why you don't like him or that's why you're criticizing him. And this is what they do with people on the left, right? So Trump had these same back and forth with with like men before, but sometimes a lot of times it's like a white guy. So they can still call him unprofessional and all this other stuff, but they can't come out and say, oh, he's sexist. He's this, he's that. So it's not really... They can't go on as large of a campaign as they are now, like they did with the whole grab the pussy thing. And this has kind of exposed their subtle sexism, right? Or, or, you know, how they're really the majority of the sexes, right? And like, they consider women lesser, right? Because they're like, oh, we need to come protect them. Oh, how could you say that ab about a woman? Oh, my God, you know, it's, it's racism of low expectations, like, uh, I'm pretty sure Majid Nawaz uh, coined that. But this is what they do. And people are catching on to it. And this whole fake outrage about what he said is just pure nonsense. And a lot of people are like, oh, my God, how could you say that about it? It's like, seriously, man, are you really, do you really care that much? Your old presidents used to have gunfights. They used to say much worse things than this. And people are acting like this is Watergate. This is the worst thing he's ever said in his life and that will ever be said. It's like, come on, like, relax, focus more on the policies instead of, you know, obviously they're focused on health care and stuff like that. But, you know, focus more on that instead of the nonsense, the stupid shit that he says occasionally. Right. Who cares? Let him say it. And it, it makes no difference. Right. If anything, you should be criticizing what he's doing in Syria and and fucking towards Russia and and what he's doing with Saudi Arabia, right? You should be focusing on these things. Those are the things he's actually doing that are pretty harmful, right? And you know, maybe he could do the healthcare thing better, but these are the majority of things you should be focusing on, not on uh, stupid shit like this, right? That makes that who who cares? Right? It's a non-issue. But they're trying to make it an issue, so it's a it's a huge distraction, if anything, right? And it's like they're they're trying to recoup from that whole Russia thing. Probably they're probably trying to be like, okay, we need to bide some time until we can people kind of forget and we can bring up Russia again and blast Russia on on high blast. But it's like, really, I when did we all become such like pathetic wimps that we can't take insults being thrown at us? And who cares if it's unprofessional or unpresidential, you know? Who gives a fucking shit? It doesn't matter. It matters what the person does. It doesn't really matter what they say. And you think your country, people are like, oh, look at look at how America's viewed now. It's like, you think you were viewed good before under Obama? No, you weren't. You, you've never been viewed good. So, <laughs> like, enough with this nonsense. You would be viewed better if you weren't invading countries for resources a lot of the times right that would make you look better it has very little to do with your attitude and what your presidents say like you should look you should listen to shit that trudeau says you know how stupid he makes canada look nobody like you know yes I, i'd prefer if he said stop saying some shit too but we're not gonna make a huge big deal about something like that right you know, I'd rather I focus more on what he does, <laughs> the policies he's implementing. So instead of instead of looking at this and that, maybe you should focus on that. Like you're playing into Trump's hands all the time and you people don't even realize it. You're, you're chasing gooses, you know, <laughs> you're, and it, it's hilarious to watch. It's like it's like he's playing with children, right? It's like you, you people are children. You're you're so out of the loop. And this is why. The mainstream media 
is losing. This is why the ratings are going down because they're out of touch with just reality and what people actually care about. But this is all I pretty much had to say. If you like my content, subscribe and have a great day. See ya.